Hey everyone, today we're going to be learning about dilations on the coordinate plane. This is another type of transformation, but it's a little bit different than the ones we've learned so far. So we've done translations, which are a slide. We've done reflections, which are a flip. And we've done rotations, which are a turn. Today we're going to talk about dilations. And this is the only type of transformation where the size of the figure is going to change. In all of our other transformations, the size has stayed exactly the same, but today we're going to talk about figures that get either bigger or smaller. So grab your lesson worksheet if you have a copy, and we are going to get started. All right, so a dilation, like I was just saying, changes the size, right? So sometimes we say that a dilation is a stretch or a shrink, right? So if we look up here, I just made a little note on my sheet here that a dilation is a stretch or a shrink. So that means it's gonna get bigger or it's gonna get smaller. And the way that we determine whether or not the figure is going to get bigger or smaller is by looking at the scale factor. So the scale factor is gonna be really important in this lesson and I'm gonna talk about it a lot. So this time the scale factor is two. So I'm gonna go through these steps and we're gonna talk about how we can dilate figure ABC by a scale factor of two. First thing we're gonna do is we are gonna list the original ordered pairs. That's our first step. So the original ordered pair for point A is positive one, positive two. Our original ordered pair for point B is positive one and negative one. And our original ordered pair for point C is going to be zero, positive one. So those are the coordinates of my pre-image. Now I'm gonna use the scale factor to dilate this figure. And the scale factor, they call that K for some reason, and that's gonna be the number that I'm gonna multiply the X and Y values by. So since our scale factor is two, I'm gonna multiply all of my X values by two and all of my Y values by two. So it's a really easy rule, right? You just multiply everything by the scale factor. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna take my original X and Y and I'm gonna multiply everything by two. So one times two is two, two times two is four. There's my new ordered pair for point A. For point B, one times two is two, negative one times two is negative two. And for point C, zero times two is still zero, and one times two is two. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna graph these ordered pairs and I'm gonna show you what the new triangle looks like. So point A prime is positive two and positive four, which is up here, so we're gonna put an A prime there. Positive two and negative two is point B prime. And zero, positive two is up here, and that is C prime. And now I'm gonna connect these points. So I'm gonna use my line feature here. Whoops, that's a really big one. Okay, and you'll just draw this, right? But on the computer, it's actually easier for me if I do it this way. All right, so here's what our new triangle looks like. So you'll notice that triangle ABC is the same exact shape as our original one, right? Our image and our pre-image are the same shape. They're just two different sizes. So that's something that we wanna make sure we keep in mind. Like if your image looks kind of strange, it doesn't look the same shape as the original one, looks kind of wonky, that means that you made a mistake somewhere, okay? The shape should be exactly the same, only the size changes. And that's because the pre-image and the image are always going to be similar figures when you dilate them. And that means they're gonna be the same shape, but they're gonna be different sizes. All right, so let's move on to the bottom portion of our worksheet and let's talk a little bit more about scale factors. Now, if you have a scale factor that is greater than one, right, a number greater than one, that's going to give you a figure that is larger, a bigger figure, and we call that an enlargement because it gets larger. If your scale factor is a number less than one, say it's like a fourth, that's gonna be a smaller figure, which we call a reduction. So here's an example of that. 
We're going to graph the image of triangle PQR after a dilation with a scale factor of one half. So the fact that this is less than one, that tells me that my triangle is going to get smaller. Again, we're going to start out by listing our original ordered pair. So our original coordinate for point P is negative two, positive four. So I'm going to write all of my original coordinates first. Point Q is negative four, negative four. And point R is positive two and zero. And now I'm going to apply my scale factor of one half. So that means I'm going to take all of these numbers, right? All of these X and Y values, and I'm going to multiply them all by one half. Now multiplying one half is the same as dividing by two, or the way I normally do it is I just say to myself, what's half of negative two, right? Negative one. What's half of four? Two, right? I'm just finding half of everything. And I'm writing all of my new ordered pairs. So I took all of these numbers, all of these X and Y's, and I multiplied them all by one half, or I divided them by two, or I said to myself, what's half of it? And I figured it all out, and now we're gonna graph them. So point P prime is now gonna be at negative one, positive two, which is right here. So there's P prime. Q prime is gonna be at negative two, negative two, which is right down here. So there's my Q. And R prime is gonna be positive one, zero, which is right here. And again, I'm gonna connect it so we can look at this triangle and we can compare it to our original triangle. And we're gonna notice that it's gonna be the same shape, but it's gonna be smaller, right? It's gonna be half the size. And I can tell when I look at it that this is exactly the same shape, right? The pink one and the black one, they look exactly the same. It's just that the pink one is half the size of the black one. The image is half the size of the pre-image. And that's because of our scale factor. All right, now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually figure out what the scale factor is. So if you have a nice straight side, you don't even have to use the ordered pairs for this. For example, let me get back to this, this page here. If I look at these two triangles, I have a nice straight side for both of them, right? I have a perfectly straight vertical side for my pre-image and my image. And if I count the spaces, side AB is three spaces long here, right? One, two, three. For A prime, B prime, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I say to myself, if I'm going from my pre-image to my image, if I'm going from three to six, what did I do to that side? Well, I times it by two, right? Because three times two is six. And that's what our scale factor was. It's not that easy though, if you don't have a nice straight side. And you'll notice that this example we just did, we don't have any nice straight sides. Everything's kind of on an angle. Same thing here. So we're gonna have to use ordered pairs to figure out the scale factor. But it's okay, it's very easy. Here we go. So I am going to, first of all, list my original ordered pairs. Point L is over here. That is at negative five, positive five. Point M is down here. That is zero and negative five. And point N is over here to the right. That's positive five and zero. So be careful that you're listing the correct ordered pairs, right? The original figure is the one without the prime symbols, without the little apostrophes. So that's how I know these went first. Okay, now I'm gonna list the coordinates of my image. So L prime is right here. So it's negative one, one. Point M is down here, that's zero, negative one. Point N is over here, that's positive one and zero. And what I'm doing is I'm saying to myself, what do I have to do to my original coordinate to get my new one? What do I have to do to this five to get it to be a one? And it's always multiplication, right? A scale factor is a number that you're multiplying by. So you're saying, what do I have to multiply five by to get it to equal one? And that's really maybe a little bit confusing. So that's why we have this nice little formula down here we can use. To, use, um, to figure out the scale factor, you're just gonna pick a coordinate. You're gonna choose any X or Y coordinate, but not the zero, right? Don't ever pick the zeros. Pick um, ordered pairs that don't have zeros in them. And you're just gonna use an X or a Y. You don't even need to use the whole ordered pair, right? You can just use one or the other. So if I look at my first ordered pair here, 
And I'm gonna use positive numbers because, you know, I'm a positive kind of girl. I don't really like using negative numbers. Here's my X, here's my Y. I'm gonna use my original Y value, which is this five. And then in point L prime, I'm gonna use my new Y value, which is this positive one right here, right? So all I'm doing is I'm using my original Y and my new Y from the first ordered pair. I could have used the X and this X, right? I could have used negative five and negative one. I could have used the five and the one down here from my N, right? The only thing I don't wanna do is I don't wanna use a zero. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. My scale factor formula is I'm going to put the image over the pre-image, right? The coordinate of the image over the pre-image. Well, the image is the new one, so that's this one over here, so that's gonna go on the top. And the coordinate of the pre-image, that's the one that happened first, that's down here, right? So it's always new over original. One over five, that is my scale factor. And that works because if I take five and I multiply five by one fifth, that gives me one. What this means is that this image, this new figure is one fifth the size of the original one. And that makes perfect sense, right? Because this is really small compared to our big one. It started out as this large figure and then we have this little guy that's one fifth of it. So you're just taking an X or a Y. You're gonna put the new one over the original one, right? So one over five is one fifth. If I had used the X's, I would have had negative one over negative five. Well, negative one over negative five still equals one fifth, right? So it's always just the new over the original. All right, hopefully that was helpful. I think dilations are really easy and I think they're kind of fun. I like them. Um, I like them much more than rotations. I'll tell you that much. Uh, if you have any questions about anything and you need some help, make sure that you ask your teacher. If I happen to be your teacher, make sure you ask me when you see me in class tomorrow. And have a great day, everyone.